Good morning, YouTube. It is August 29th, I think. It's around 7.30 a.m. And I am waiting on my parents. It's... I'm sorry, it is Saturday. I've had a really long week, um, very tiring. But I'm feeling, actually I'm feeling very great today, which is amazing, surprisingly. And um, I'm at my parents' old office building, at their old office, helping them move all the stuff to the new place. So I'm basically just waiting on them with the car, bringing me some boxes so I can actually pack up some of their things. And I thought I'd just record a little bit and introduce myself to and you to my new YouTube channel. I had intended to start this way earlier, like about four weeks ago. Oh my god. No, about six weeks ago. That's when I first started. And I've never really come to upload a video. So as of today, I am six weeks out for my first show and it for my second show. And I guess I hear them coming. Yes, that's them. I'll be back. And we're back. Yes. Um so we just unloaded and newly loaded the car for my parents. Um what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Yes, competition prep. Six weeks out today and eight weeks out. So I'm actually going to do two shows in um, October, mid and late October. I'm feeling okay. To be honest, I started carb cycling. Or basically like we drop my carbs to a minimum and refeed so that really is I'm very I need carbs to function and um it was okay until like Thursday or Wednesday and Thursday is when I first noticed that for the very first time in my like 20 week prep I have actually like had not fog, not the brain fog, you know, but I forgot things. I mean, it's been a hectic week. I had lots, like, lots of things to do, very many projects in my head. So first time that I noticed, like, why did I just get up? Like, what did I want to do? Or, you know, the moment, like, and very, very so often, and same at home, like I would run into the kitchen or walk into the kitchen because I needed something and then like just stand there because I completely forgot what I was going there for. Yeah, but my training was good. It was actually really good. I had energy. I was more hungry, obviously, but um, it's basically, it's a good sign, you know, um, it only shows that I'm burning body fat and Hunger is, um, and then I talked about the hunger thing with my friend, and I think it was Lynette, or no, just someone that, um, I talked about the hunger issue with a friend, and I told her that, yes, when you take on the step of competition, you know you're gonna get hungry. You cannot get around being hungry. This is part of the process. This is what diet is. I mean, you shouldn't be hungry the first at the start of your prep of your diet, because then you're just going too strong. But the closer you get to your competition, the more likely you'll get hungry. Yes, your body gets accustomed to lower macros, lower calories, more maybe more cardio, but you will be hungry. This is part of a process. Just fucking deal with it. 
choose the language, deal with it. So yes, for the very first time, I'm actually like hungry, um, like hangry, hungry, not just an hunger emotion, but like that post workout yesterday, for example. I mean, it was really late. I got home around 11ish, no 10ish, after my lift and some short PM cardio session. And I got home and I started cooking and then my boyfriend came in and he was like, oh, you cooking now? Tell me when you're done so I could start. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm doing my best. And he's like, oh, someone's hangry. <laughs> like, yeah, I am. Very first time, this rarely happens. Also, like when I do after my fasted cardio, I shower and I cook my breakfast and there was the point You know, when you cook breakfast and you come to that point where you feel like everything, your intestines are getting torn because you're so hungry. That happened twice last week. But it's not like I'm going to die at all. I'm going to make it. It's perfectly fine. I'm looking forward to a refit though. You know, some good carbs. And I'm counting the days because... I am excited and I'm also very much excited for some treats post show, for some pizza because I can fit pizza into my diet. So yes, I'm again waiting on them to come and help me. I packed everything and I'm waiting on a car so we can load the car and um, yes, that's it. So basically, I will try to video, like at least do a weekly log about how my progress is going, where I'm at. Um, not so much training footage, but since I really want to focus on my training and don't interrupt, I don't like interrupting my training with filming, but posing maybe and um, just daily stuff that I'm doing now on the go. You'll not see lots of food because my food is really boring, basically. I can show you. So that was my breakfast because, well, it was really early and I brought my breakfast to the oven. Just, just my whites and vegetables. And then I have, um, <laughs> went for the cup. Um, big Tupperware, um, there's a bean mix, different beans, um, kale, um, raw spinach, and chicken, and there is broccoli and fish, yes, I'm so broad, and here is the sweet um, squash, um, I like to eat my squash sweet and that's why I keep it separate from my other containers because this is with um, Walton Farms syrup and stevia and cocoa powder like pancake syrup, Walton Farms pancake syrup. So this is like sweet and then I have like, it's like basically one meal but I have a pre-meal and the dessert, yay. Barbie desserts and then I have like protein powder and bars here you know just in case I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay and I mean we're just basically 10 minutes five minutes walk from my parents place so I could heat it up and if I want something I have my water bottle we're not out of the world I can go and buy stuff if I need to and I have this food scale so all set and they're coming I hear them so I'm gonna make it then Bye. I am sorry I didn't vlog earlier today I am just driving into my city like from my parents place and as you can see like I got I am fully loaded with um, boxes from the moving because 
these are mine from when I moved um, and we might need them again so that's why I'm bringing them home and I'm driving which is really dangerous I should put that phone down but I So what happened basically was that I, after the move, my friend who helped my parents out and I, we went straight to the, to his place and then smashed some pre-workout and then left for the gym. And we had a great lift and I posted a picture on Instagram actually and then oh, we did some cardio, which is really cute because he did some cardio with me that I had missed in the morning earlier. And he was like, yeah, let's do some Stairmaster. Like, what guy does do Stairmaster just with you? It's really cute. I mean, he's like four or five years, years younger than I am, so... Nope, not gonna happen. But he's a cutie. He's my brother's best friend, so... And uh, what happened? So, after the lift, it was like noon, and I was freaking starving as I had only had breakfast uh, around 7 ish. So, I just pulled into my own parking lot. Um, welcome home. So, what happened was that my parents finished up the move, like cleaned and put stuff into the new, uh, new office. And I got home, oops, and I ate, and then I took a power nap waiting on my mom to come home because we wanted to go and do some shopping. Well, I basically only needed like a funny pack for, for when I'm lifting, like for the gym, like just little Nike packs. But um, she needed to do some groceries, so I was like, yeah, let's go together. I love going groceries with my mom. It's just always so much fun. It's just more fun doing it together. And then, um, yeah, we went there. And they went to the to sporting goods and they did not have any kind of funny packs, which is weird. Like they had no bags, gym bag stuff, like little bags for for like your phone and or your iPod. But they did have some bikinis and I'm gonna show you the bikinis that well, I didn't wanna buy them. <laughs> we just went because like I I like them and then I tried them on and I love them but I was like, yeah, I'm not going to need, I mean, it's end of August, like, it's almost September. I'm not going to need new bikinis, but I'm also conscious that whenever you find a bikini, like, you have to buy it because you won't find one if you need one, and I only have one bikini. But I'm, I mean, it's end of summer, and I might have my summer body now, but I don't know how it looks next year, and, like, all blah, blah, blah. And then my mom's like... But girl, you need bikinis. We are going on a Caribbean cruise for Christmas vacation and Christmas New Year's. Like what? Holy, I completely forgot about that. Yes, I do need bikinis. Well, <laughs> so, but she knows I'm a little tight on money. So she actually treated me to two new bikinis. Thank you, mom. Love you. Um, which is amazing. Oh my God, I'm so thankful. And I'm going to show you my bikinis now. So yeah, I, we bought those bikinis and um, some more stuff that I really needed or that she needed. And then we go home and I tried on the bikinis on a balcony. <laughs> and I chilled and I ate. And I took another power nap because it's Saturday and I'm really tired. And now I'm home, and it's like, um, it's 6.30 already. 6.30 p.m. That was a long day, but it was beautiful. It was really nice. It was really nice being with the fam. I saw my brother for a little bit, like very short amount of time, but... Yes, I'm not gonna see them for another two weeks. And then we go and visit my brother, but until then, I'm gonna be grinding at home. And now I'm uh, almost hungry. Almost hungry? It's almost time to be hungry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait a little bit and then cook some dinner. And then later on have dessert and just make my own perfect Saturday night with a big fruity bowl, smoothie bowl, and TV, Netflix TV. So, yes.
I did not finish my vlog yesterday, Saturday, and it's now it's Sunday 30th, almost 10 p.m. And I didn't finish because it was just so nice being not offline completely, but I forgot, to be honest. <laughs> I completely forgot. And then today I just did a relaxing day like I woke up I did some meal prep I ate and I went to the gym to do some very light cardio and like some spa time like bowl bathing sauna sun bathing you with my new bikini you know and it was beautiful I got my nails deed and my toenails it's just me time, quality time with myself and my body and my soul and relax and stretch and yeah, all kind of that. So yes, I forgot. I'm new to this. I'm sorry, but I'll get better. So, but I wanted to end this vlog, probably a pretty long vlog, by the way, um, with saying that I'm really trying to do this a little more often as from now on, like keeping myself accounted and to whoever wants to watch it and likes it, like following me. I mean, it's still six weeks and eight weeks and to whatever comes after that. If you want to follow me on my journey, like this video and of course follow me, give me a follow. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, ask your question if you have any. I mean, it's my very first YouTube video, so I'm very new to this, but I just find that I really like talking about <laughs> I really like talking, but I really like talking about what I'm doing, where I'm at, and um, I'll try in some videos from today's posing. Yes, I did some posing practice as well today, um, before I started cardio. Um, I tried that in just so you can see where I'm at. It's not my best posing, but it was quick and I got it done. So yes, it is Sunday night, 9.40 p.m. I am soon heading I'm like I'm doing this video running it up uploading it and then head out to bed to get a good night's sleep because I have some morning cardio to do tomorrow and um I got a long ass week ahead of me so good night fellow youtubers don't don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a follow if you like this video and yes oh yeah and I'll link my Instagram link down below that's where you can follow me, pictures and everything. I'm more accounted on Instagram, blah. I'm too tired now. Good night.